21 days since the last time I had alcohol. I drink a beer, whatever. 21 days, three weeks. Today is Saturday, October 5th. It is like ooh, almost one o'clock. I'm sharing this because last Saturday I made a video kind of opening up and talking about that and why and the health reasons that go along with it. We're getting ready to go to a wedding and in weddings people drink. And I'm not going to drink tonight. Betting on yourself is something that we've talked a lot about on this channel. If you're new here, we've talked about bet on you set goals one day at a time. And if you're an OG, <laughs> you're tired of me talking about it. Within the realm of YouTube or, or DoorDash or Uber or Walmart Spark, you could marginally bet on yourself. For me, another step in that mindset of betting on myself for me and mine, my family, my girls, is to have a healthier lifestyle. And if you drink as much as I was sometimes, and you couple that with me having type 1 diabetes, drinking is not good. Sometimes I do it to escape something I, or I just want to drink. I just like to relax and unwind after a long day. Sometimes it tastes good. Sometimes it's a social gathering and you're having a beer with somebody, a cocktail, a margarita. Nothing wrong with that. And I'm not saying I'll never drink again. But I wanted and needed to test myself. I wanted to see the health benefits of it. I want to be around longer. And if you drink, you're limiting your lifestyle, your life span, possibly. Drinking alcohol is one of the worst things you could do, especially for somebody like me. Over the last 21 days, I've kind of realized my frustrations have been on a higher level. You start thinking about things at night in a different way because you don't have a beer in your hand to, to, to help you just like not feel. 21 days. And I didn't plan on counting necessarily, but when I made the video last Saturday, I had realized it had been a couple of weeks. So I said, well, it's been 14 days. I haven't had a beer. I think about drinking a beer just about every day. Like I tell myself, I can have a beer, it'll be fine. My my drinking didn't cause me problems per se, at least not, now, not that I could see right now. But it did in the way of my health. It got in the way of me being the healthiest I could be. Me being able to be around and be present in certain situations. 21 days. I'm going to go for 30 and see how I feel and go from there. I'm not going to any AA meetings or anything like that. That's not the reason my path and my story and my season is different than others. People struggle with addiction. I'm not telling you, you need to stop drinking or you need to do this. I'm just telling you what's going on with me. I think some of you might be able to relate. Some of you might say, man, do I drink a lot? Do I eat too much? Do I watch too much of this? What is something that is, has a hold of me that is possibly sometimes unhealthy that I could change for myself? How can you bet on yourself? For me right now, I'm not drinking. It was funny because Thursday I had some friends over. We play darts in this very garage. We do it from time to time. It's a buddy. It's a men's. Some. It's it's a buddies of mine I've had for years, and we get together pretty regularly and we do that or we do something else and what was interesting is we would always have a beer and I wasn't having a beer one of the other gentlemen brought beers with him like he usually does he had one or two because he didn't want to drink by himself the other guy usually has beers with us he said he's doing dry October he was two days he hadn't had a drink I was like oh really I hadn't had I haven't drank in you know 18 19 days whatever it was at that point I didn't plan on really bringing it up until unless somebody brought it up and then we started talking and while he was doing it. He's like, hey, well, I'm just trying to do a dry October. And people have different reasons. There were a couple of years ago, I think about four years ago, I stopped eating meat. I wasn't vegan, but I was like vegetarian. For similar reasons, health reasons. I wanted to also not give myself something that I enjoy. I like meat. I like pork, pig. I like cows. I like it all. <laughs> I like meat. I like fish. 
I would eat meat most like, like a lot of Americans at every meal of the day. And for almost two years, I didn't eat meat. I was, it was a challenge to myself if I could not give myself something that I want. It's a discipline thing as well. And being disciplined is very important part of me and, and, and how I look at betting on myself. You have to be disciplined to better yourself and you're going to fail and fall and things might happen and you just start over again and you learn and you grow. And that is life, especially for us men out there. 21 days. Feel good about it. So I got to say, waking up in the morning, not having a hangover sometimes and feeling just not dehydrated or feeling more. Eh, it's kind of nice. But I'd be lying if I didn't say, man, sometimes I want to just have me, I want to have a cocktail, I want to have a beer, I want to have something. 21 days. Let me know what you guys think about that in the video down below. Betting on you, setting, setting goals and doing it one day at a time. I told you guys on this channel, we were going to start doing and talking about other things and challenging myself and you and just giving you guys a different perspective, a peek behind the curtain into Pedro. Not necessarily Mr. Bet on You or Pedro used to be DoorDash Santiago. But Pedro. The things I struggle with, the things that I'm trying to do, the things that I'm trying to learn, how I'm trying to grow as a man, as a father, as a son. Those things are very important to me as I get older in life. I'm not old, I'm 42. I mean, I'll be, I'll be 43 in less than a month. No, I'll be 43 in just a little over a month. I'm very looking, I'm looking forward to going to this wedding and dancing with my daughter and Madison and seeing family and celebrating this young couple's brand new journey into life together. And at every other wedding I've been at, I've had drinks and I dance and I'm looking forward to having fun without having alcohol. Let's try it out for a size and see. I'm 21 days in. This is my journey of betting on myself in a variety of ways, whether it's using the gig economy having a YouTube channel, starting up small little ventures on the side, or taking care of my mental health and physical health. Because I believe for me, and it could be different for everyone, this isn't advice, but for me, taking alcohol out of the equation helps me with my mental, maybe not always, but long-term, and definitely my physical. You guys drop a comment down below. What are you looking to What are you looking to improve in your life? Improve, I think, is a good word. And what can you do that's reachable, achievable, and attainable? What is something that you could do less of to maximize your life and be more present? I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you got any questions, put them in the comment section down below. If you're new here, we do a lot of gig content. We do motivational hours on Wednesday. Every We do a live every Wednesday at 4 Eastern, 3 Central. Uh, we do a gig driver show every Sunday night, 10 Eastern, 9 Central. We have guests on. We talk about topics. We go over all kinds of things. And then we do daily content with the gig economy. And you're going to start seeing more of this bet on you kind of mindset and my journey to become a better version of myself. I am not perfect. I am a flawed individual. But when you're trying to be the perfect version of yourself, the best version. If you're striving for that, even if you fall short, you could be better than you were maybe last year. So I'm trying to just be a little bit better every single day. You guys have a great weekend.